Hey there guys, Ectomaster here. We are back in Heroes of the Storm. That's right, it's Tuesday. So that means it's time for another Hero Heroes of the, the Update. Update. For those of you new to the channel and new to Heroes of the Storm, welcome. It is release day. We've got a new hero, nothing really else. There's some other news, but... Heroes of the Update is a weekly uh, series where I go in and I look at the hero rotation, any news that's out there, a store update, any new characters, that type of thing. So with it being the release day, uh, I've kind of already gotten some, you know, I can click on my portrait here and let's see, portrait, I've got, you know, I've got the uh, Nexus, you know, awarded those brave enough to fight within the Nexus, uh, Alpha, Beta. Hate a hero. I mean, I got launch week portrait. All of that's in there. That's really cool. Um, we got the new hero and Johanna, Crusader of Zakarum from Diablo 3. So we'll take a, a look at her. We will have a separate video later this week, probably on Thursday or Friday, that showcases her like what we did today, earlier today, with Lily. Um, I'm going to give it a couple of days, see if there's anybody who comes out with a build for her. So we'll go from there. I'm excited to test her out. I'm going to show. I haven't gotten her yet, so you guys are going to see uh, all the prices and whatnot. I literally, have just like a switch was flipped, and here it is. So I'm trying to get this out as soon as possible. I was waiting, waiting for her to put this video out. So, anyways, let's get down to business. The first order of business being this week's hero rotation. Alright, so ignore my Sylvanas, I wasn't really doing anything with her, I just kind of clicked on her to see, because there is a new mount in the game, so you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to show you that. So if you do this, like, thing on the website, um, I'm trying to remember, it's like, on the face on Facebook, if you go on Facebook and do something with Heroes of the Storm, you can get the Mechano Spider. That's what it kind of looks like, and the variations of colors. There have also been some tie-ins to games. Um, I have the Ironside Direwolf, which is from having Warlords of Draenor. So I have Warlords of Draenor, so there it is. Ironside Direwolf. There's also something to deal with Hearthstone. There's a card back that you can get. Um, I, I haven't jumped into Hearthstone yet, so I, I couldn't tell you, honestly. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to look at the hero rotation, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So right off the bat, going in alphabetical order. Again, for those of you who are new to Heroes of the Storm and have not played before or new to the channel, I kind of go through the hero rotation, starting with the heroes that are free to play for those who are level 1 to 11, then levels 12 to 14, and then those who are 15 and above you get that 12 to 14 you get one more player 15 and above you get one more so you have a grand total of seven that you could play with for free every week with um five being for free for the first 11 levels so let's go ahead and take a look at those first five you have your choices of the melee warrior in diablo the melee warrior in etc a ranged assassin in Falstad, a ranged healer or ranged support in Lily. I'm trying to find her. Pardon me. There she is. Had to find the Pandora, and I had to find her. And then, last but not least, you have a ranged specialist, a ranged assassin. I'm sorry, with Tychus Findlay. Those are your free to play for levels one to eleven. Now, level twelve. You get the added bonus of the range specialist Asmodan from Diablo. And level 15 and above, you get the range support of Tassadar. So there you have it. Now those are the, play the characters that you can play for free. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the hero shop and see what's going on. So this is going to showcase you... Um, I was looking at the skins. Here we go. Featured. That's what we want. So... Featured is going to show you the skins and things that are out there that are, you know, featured this week. Um, 
as of right now, you know, you have your featured bundle, the new hero, everything like that. And we'll take a look at the bundles themselves, but the bundle here, the big one, is Johanna. So it's brand new hero. I'll let her speak. Greetings, friend. Uh, I, usually they take a second to say something. Um, she is nine ninety nine by herself. Yay. Fifteen thousand gold. If you haven't gotten that just yet, you can. Uh, don't want to spend the cash. You can spend in game gold. I don't have enough personally. I could probably get it. Oh, um, that's four seven. Uh, I could get it if I do all my my daily quests. But you're a thoughtful sort. Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, anyway, so Crusader of Zakarum, there have been many women who have borne the name Johanna in the service of the Crusade, and each has given her life to purify her fate. Johanna carries on the legacy as she searches the kingdom of Gondorus for the fallen star. I can also take a look at her skin. So this is her base skin. And then alternate colors. Her master skin. And then her Centurion skin. If we have a chance to look at it, I will show you the backstory. Basically like a Roman god kind of thing. Anyways, moving on. So there is a bundle available for that. You can get each one Greetings, by friend. itself, but together for only $13.11, which is probably what I am going to do. Not only that, but each week they feature either a mount and two skins, or two skins and a hero for 50% off. And for this week, we have a mount and two skins. So you have the Lunar Tiger, you can get for, typically it's $9.99, you can get for $4.99. Or we have Frostworm Arthas, who you can get for $3.74. Typically it's $7.49. That's kind of cool. It's almost like. Uh, Frostmorn Hunger. And what's interesting about the skins are the backstories that they create for them. So, for example, after the death of the Ashen Verdict's champions, none could halt the Lich King's advance. As a reminder of his victory, he grafted the bones of fa his fallen servants onto his armor. So it's really cool. And then you have Seraphim Tyrael. I was waiting for him to speak. Okay. Hail there he is. Mortal. With tired eyes, the newly appointed High Seraph Tyrael looked across Sanctuary. After the fall of the High Heavens, this world was the last bastion against Imperius' wrath. So there you have it. That's kind of cool looking. There you go. That's not all that they have featured. They also have the Winter Veil Complete Bundle of featured for 25% off, $29.97. Jaina, Winter Veil Jaina, Great Father, uh, Rhaegar, and then Reindeer. So I'm surprised to see that bundle back. And also the Nexus Bundle. The Nexus Bundle is... Well, look who it is. Yeah, well, hi, Nova. I greet you too. Anyways, it is typically $117.86 U.S. It is 66% off for $39.99. So, rather good deal on that. And then apparently, uh, apparently, apparently, they're also doing a 50% off 30-day stim pack. I'm probably going to get one or two of those because typically it's $9.99. Look at that, it's $4.99. Booyah! That sounds good to me. Helps you when you're leveling up your... Uh, helps to level your new hero because there's also a bonus XP event going on as well so don't forget to check that out and if I'm lucky we can take a look at her backstory Centurion Johanna greetings friend thank you at Imperial Severus's command an entire legion marched against the portal of the gods all but one returned home a single Centurion taken as punishment for man's hubris I'm guessing that Portal of the Gods was the Portal of the Nexus. And that's it for this week, guys, for our episode, Heroes, Heroes of, of the, the Update. Update. I am Ecto Master, and I will see you guys in the next round.